Hi guys, it's Lucy. Welcome back to yesterday's wishes. Today I'm going to do a question and answer video. So I hope you find this interesting and get something out of it. The first question is, are your other senses better now you've lost your sight? I personally would say yes. My hearing is insane. My whole family constantly call me an earwig and I always can hear things from the next room or downstairs even. My smell has also really gone up. I love perfumes way more than I did because I feel like they're way more intense the way I smell them. I love Lush the shop, it's so amazing every time I go in there. I have a bit of an obsession with Yankee candles. Yes, smells are something that I absolutely adore now. So yes, my senses have definitely gone up. So watch out people because I might hear you whispering. <laughs> Question is, how do I use my computer or phone now that I'm blind? I personally love Apple devices, they're amazing. I think I've gone a little bit crazy on them since I've lost my sight because the voiceover on them is insanely good. It's really, really good. I recommend it to anyone out there who has a visual impairment because you just feel normal holding an iPhone like everyone else. It's such a cool device. In terms of my computer, I personally use the iPad because iOS devices are simplified for phones and I think it's way better to just use something that you can just swipe your finger across. It's way less complicated than a normal browser like Safari or whatever on a computer because you have to start using a screen reader. That is complicated to use if you don't know how, whereas you can just pick up an iPhone and just do what you need to do on it and just put it down. I can search something on Safari in about five seconds, so it's really good. With Apple devices as well, you can search Spotify really easy because there's a Spotify app and that allows me to stay in touch with the latest music. That is also a really good feature. So yes, I'm a bit of an Apple geek. In terms of Windows, I don't really use screen readers like JAWS or Dolphin or anything. I find them a bit too messy. It doesn't start up the actual screen reader when the actual computer does. Whereas Apple screen readers, they're built in. So yes, I haven't learned a screen reader yet but I will definitely make that one of my list of things to do because I think if you have all the tools at hand you are able to utilise them more and can do anything. Next question is what is my number one frustration? Well being blind isn't easy and I think the number one frustration is not being able to do things yourself but again as I just said having an Apple iPhone, yes that's great, you can start doing things by yourself, I think you just need to get organised and everything around you will actually fit into place and you will be able to do things yourself. Eventually you just have to persevere, it is really really tough and I've got so frustrated with it in the past because I just really just want to do things myself all the time, I'm such an independent person but there's no reason that you don't have to be anymore if you don't utilise the tools around you really. So that is my main thing to say about that. Next question is, how do I distinguish money in my purse and do I use an ATM? Yes, I do use an ATM. Barclays is the best one. You can actually plug your headphones into it and it, and it reads it out for you. You can draw cash out like everyone else not having to go to someone at the bank to actually draw your money out for you so that's really good also Barclays let you do it with any card so you don't actually have to be with that bank to do it so that's also great I distinguish money in my purse by folding different notes over it, you can tell which notes are which sometimes through how big they are I can usually tell pound coins because they're thicker than all the others and I do struggle with 10p's and 50p's I guess you probably will be like, Lucy, why do you struggle with a 50p? Because it's completely different to a 10p, as the 10p is rounded, but yes, I do struggle with that. There is also a really great app on my iPhone. I don't know if it's on other smartphones for you, but I have Fast Balance, which is really, really good. It tells you which shops you have been to and paid money to. It also shows your current balance and what's going out. So if you don't have sight, it's really, really good because it just tells you what's in your bank without having to ask anyone. It's really good. I don't know if other banks do it, but yes, I would seriously look into that if you can. Next question is, how long have you been blind for? I personally have been registered blind since March 2013. I still have a little bit of sight, 
by little I mean slight blobs, slight bits of colour, not even a metre away from me. I have 10% vision which means I'm registered blind in the UK here. I can still see a little bit of light which gets me through the days most of the time. But yes, I can see mostly black. On this next question, do blind people cry? Yes we do still have tear ducts, so yes we do. <laughs> this question is, any inspirations that you focus on that keep you going? I personally plan ahead, I make sure I have my diary full of things to do, going out with my boyfriend, going out with friends, going on holidays, I just keep my life as fulfilled as I can, trying to organise myself in the best way possible and I think if you do that you will have a really really good life. I also am inspired by different people who are blind like Stevie Wonder, all sorts of people, even people who are sighted that just do makeup tutorials, I really love listening to them, I really strive to be the best person that I can, do the best makeup, wear the best clothes, all the things that sighted and non-sighted people do. So I really think if you have that philosophy you'll get a long way. That's the end of my Q&A guys, I hope you liked it. I wanted to say a few more things, so in other news, I am training with my guide dog in two days. It's preliminary training, so I'm so excited. Let's hope for nice weather because I'm not allowed to go out with her in the snow. So I did see some snowfall, but I think it's just going to clear up, so that's hopefully really good. In other news, I also dyed my hair red. I've really wanted to do this for a long, long time, even though I can't really see my hair. I can sort of see the colour if I put it up to my eye, like right here. Um, I think I really like it from the reaction that I've had. If you want to know um, what it is, it's L'Oreal Ferrier Mango Intense Copper. It's here. Um, L'Oreal Ferrier actually do really, really good hair dyes if you want to go red and the conditioner in it, the treatment afterwards, it's really amazing, their silk conditioner. So anyone going red, definitely, I would recommend that. Thanks for watching and listening. I will see you guys very, very soon. Um, if you want to keep up to date with me, my Twitter is ycul underscore underscore, my blog wishesforyesterday.wordpress.com and also click on the links on that end screen or they're in the below bar click on Archibalix 2 he's really really good he does all my graphics he edits my videos he's really really good so check him out and I think that's all I have to say guys if you want an audio description of this video go on my blog have a good week bye